The breeze then behind Rod Wishart. He won't want to give this too much. And there's the kickoff. Taken by Stewart. And Lomax goes back. Big tackle early by Pincinelli. Hetherington angles in behind the markers. They stay alert. Walters looks for a gap between the markers and again. They're ready, willing and able. They're on their own 20 metre line, second tackle. Meninga goes for a charge on the blind side. Now they've reached the 30 metre line. Stewart across on the third tackle. A diving take by Croker. Slammed down into the ground by Simon. Big job for John Simon tonight. A rebound, a charge down. Mullins is with it. Mullins! 32 metres out from his own line. Mullins has gone to ground injured. Oh, big hit there from Peter Johnson. There's been a penalty awarded against Illawarra. And so much tension in this game. Nate is getting restless. Mullins still down. Looks like he's got an injury up around the thigh area. The penalty has been awarded against the Steelers and both touch judges are on in all sorts of trouble, the number one. Might be a knee problem. And what a cruel twist of fate. He's the man of the moment, really. Can't be involved in one of the key matches for Canberra this year. This is how it was hurt. You can see there, good strong defence from Piccinelli and Craig Simon. The knee was... Well, the leg was pretty much crunched and straight away he's got problems Fritz is with it now right on the halfway line a sideline comment from Steve Roach yeah just on Brett Mullins thank goodness no knee damage he's got a cork thigh we'll see him back this ball giving Matthew Wood a bit of trouble coming back from his own line his head heavily bandaged Mandruku, 15 out from his line. Second tackle on this set for Canberra. Full of eye. Johnston had him in his sights. Fired the shot, had just missed. Clyde looks inside, opts not to pass. Oh, great tackle, Neil Piccinelli. He's chased everything out there early in this game. Come up with some great defence. Really underestimated in the competition. Good ball skills as well as Riolo picks up. Confronted. Can't beat Meninga. Thulavai, meantime, is injured for Canberra. Their injury toll is mounting as Chris John Simon goes wide for Nigel Roy. A few metres short of the halfway line, Dean Calloway uses John Simon now. He tries to hold off the tackle by Steve Walters. Calloway goes to Dunning half and now cross very fast off the mark as picked off by Lomax through Calloway to Craig Simon now with Nigel Roy. And he's put down 35 out from the Canberra line. No score. Jody Rudd now coming infield and away from the sideline. He's put down very heavily. Hetherington low. Up the top was Pongia. This is John Simon. He decides to go to the air. Wishart is flying. Full of eye tested. Down for McGregor. 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 Can he get it down? Oh, and the fans are happy and every right to be. They've, they've had very little football early in this game. A great kick from John Simon. I've got to give an enormous rap to Matthew Wood, I think it is, in defence for Canberra. Wishart flies high, puts a lot of pressure on Fuller by now, bounces back into McGregor's hands. It looks like a simple job of just getting over the line. But what about the strength there from Matthew Wood pushing a much bigger man sideways? Finally, Fuller by comes in to help. And McGregor pounds the ball down to get the first four-pointer. Beautiful kick from his halfback. Good chase from Wishart. Never took his eyes off the ball. The ball bounced back to McGregor. Matthew Wood straining to get him over the sideline. Paul McGregor. He is going to be one of the greats. And gets the ball down, no doubt. There's the kick. Oh, it's a beauty. 6-0 in favour of the men in red. 11 minutes gone, Friday night football. Well, as far as you know, the number four, Paul McGregor, converted by number two, Rod Wishart. Fairly six, they came by 
have been very bunched. But usually, as we've seen in the past week, sides have played Canberra in the middle, their backs get a good rest, and then they're able to spread the ball out of trouble. But Illawarra are testing them wide and making their backs do some tackles. Simon's kick will find the line. Ten metres out from the Canberra line. And for those of you that might have joined us a little bit late, you'll notice number 14 is out there for Canberra. His name is Matthew Wood, and he's had to take the place of Brett Mullins in his career as he reaches the 40-metre line. Walters now across for Stewart. And Stewart, his kick met by the breeze. Now the Canberra players are inside the 10. They have to go backwards. And Wishart is able to make some good ground. A quick play, the ball. John Simon for cross and a long pass. This is Nigel Roy. And he's put away 35 metres out from the Canberra line. And that's exactly what Phil Gould is talking about. Spreading the ball wide early in the tackle count. Trying to spread the Canberra defence. To me, that's a sign of confidence. As Fritz takes the ball up again on another big charge. Good tackle there from Ferner. He had a head of steam up the big man. So Callaway has the choice of right or left. And here's a penalty right in front. Well, Annesley couldn't have been any kinder. And that's not a criticism of him. Just off centre, 11 metres out. That penalty resulted good pressure from Illawarra. They went forward in the middle of the field after they moved the ball wide. That put Canberra pressure, pressure on the Canberra defence and they had to race up quick because they were outnumbered on both sides of the field. Well inside the 10 metres there. Graham Annesley, no hesitation in awarding the penalty. Here's Wishart now from 11 out, practically in front. He doesn't make mistakes from that range. Eight points to nil, Illawarra over Canberra. 15 minutes gone, we're back in a moment. Canberra line, they're just beyond it now. Johnston did well. And now Callaway. Callaway is brought down in a grassing tackle by Quentin Pongia. They're 10 metres short of the halfway as Simon uses Johnston. His second hit up on this set of six. Nearly to the halfway line. They go to the blind side. Cross keeps it low. Mandruku's got a problem over there. What will he do? He's going to have to take it back. Mandruku tackled back in that corner, the scoreboard corner. No gain in ground. That was good defence by Canberra. Here's Fritz again to the halfway line. Crowd loves uh, Big Fritz and they get a penalty, Illawarra. Now the message is that Phil Levi has been told to come off and Mullins goes back into the game now as Illawarra win the scrum. I just hope Ray Illawarra don't close up and think that they've got a lead big enough to win this game. Eight points is not going to get them home, I would think, against this Canberra side as soon as the ball starts to come their way. And if they start getting protective and not working Canberra over, Canberra will get a bit of a breather and come back at them with all guns blazing. I don't think they'll do that, Phil, because look, I don't think they know how to do it. I really think that they, they know that their strength is some of the intricate plays that they have keeping the ball alive. They know they've got to be positive tonight, and I'm sure that they'll stay that way. Try and build on this lead. The, uh, team number two, Albert off Simon, number one, Brett Craig with it now. Almost through, but Clyde, Clyde read it well. Five tackles gone now for the Steelers. They lead 8-0. John Simon puts it high. The bomb in middle of the ground, and Meninga comes away with it for Canberra. Play by Jody Rudd now, and worked away by Callaway, and the penalty goes to Illawarra. Practically on the halfway line, Canberra inside the 10. Has kicked two goals from three attempts. Callaway takes the tap, danger for Canberra again. It comes out to Andrew Farrer, two decoys, then McGregor. Ruben Wickey had done his homework on that play. Nigel Roy loses the ball. Was it raked out? Wishart is with it. Six more tackles. The touch judge advises the referee. Walsh. 18 metres out from the line now. Callaway comes back to the blind side. Simon 
Stands and looks to unload. Clyde is there to shut him down with Walters. Watch for John Cross on the fringe of the ruck. He's, if John Simon's not there, he's the man that can put some things on. Bencinelli back inside. Oh, Clyde tackle. was the tackler on Walsh. They're 10 metres out from the line. Callaway for Simon. John Simon to his brother Craig. Turns it inside for Jody, uh, for Nigel Roy. And Roy is tackled. Five metres out from the line. This is the last tackle coming up now. Callaway for John Simon. The grubber kick. Was he taken out of it? Mullins tries to get back and he does. Wiki. One thing I'd like to see in Illawarra side, Ray, is Paul McGregor go around to the left-hand side of the field and have a few sniffs over there. Primarily, he stays on the right-hand side of the field with Rod Wishart. Illawarra split their centres. But I really think they could get some numbers over on the far side of the field if McGregor could go around and help out over there. Stewart now works it away for Croker. Meninga, a catch and pass. Mandruko, the flying Fijian, down the sideline. The support of Croker. Oh, Callaway. Callaway from nowhere made the tackle. The hooker stayed with Croker all the way there. Great cover, but Canberra, they got numbers out wide. Stewart shows it to Lomax. Sends Ferner ahead to the 20 metre line. The last for Canberra now. And away from Wiki, it's gone to Stewart. A cross field bomb. Matthew Wood had an opportunity. Canberra had an opportunity, but knocked on. Wiki from dummy half. He's pulled down on the second. Walter's a dummy half. Now Pongia, and Pongia hits the line. Illawarra equal to the task so far. Third tackle is gone. Stewart is with it. The long pass, finding Meninga. Then Mandruko. Mandruko loses the ball. Great defence by the Illawarra Steelers. Fritz and uh, Johnston. Fritz is not out there now. They've laid a very good platform. John Cross. Good yards. 48 out from the Canberra line. This is the last tackle. John Simon keeps it low. Looks for the line and finds it. Nice set of six from Illawarra. They saved a try in the, right down deep in their own territory. And the next time they've given it back to Canberra, they've given it back within 10 metres of their own try line. They don't it's come a, any better than that. No, it's a good settling set of six. Getting down towards half-time, they've got an 8 nil lead. I think they're protecting the lead a little bit. They've gone a little bit negative in their play. The first time Canberra pushed the ball through some hands, they got around them and nearly came up with points at the other end. 35 metres out now from the Illawarra line where we're breathing down the break. Stewart with a long pass. Matthew Wood is picked off by Rod Richard. Five gone as Stewart goes to the air. Riolo underneath it. Under pressure. Standing his ground, this very popular number one. I don't know that he's playing fully fit, though. The siren in the background, Annesley acknowledges. And uh, a wonderful first half for Illawarra. Buoyed on by this magnificent crowd. They lead 8-0. Welcome back. 8-0 in favour of Illawarra, the home side at Steelers Stadium. And here's Fritz back on the park. David Walsh has gone back to the bench. Ricky Stewart a bit more room. Put a plenty of pressure on Andrew Farry. He's a bit slow to kick the ball. I want to see the markers chase him and improve our own kicking game. Give Ricky a bit of an option. But they still think they're in this game. Riolo! Riolo's over the 20 metre line. Mandruku's got him. The ball goes to ground. Recovered by Jody Rudd. Six more tackles, says Annesley. Deep in the corner. They go to John Simon. Simon, he comes back towards the blind side. Uses Dean Callaway. The ball on the half volley for Craig Simon. He steps out of one. Taken by Steve Walters. The line is only five metres in front of them. Callaway now. Back and away for Fritz. Fritz almost over the line and held up by Brad Clyde. Callaway to dummy half again. A couple of metres away from the try line, as you can see. John Simon holds it back. Then for Neil Pincinelli, and he's put down. Hetherington, the tackler. Callaway for Simon. Now for Craig Simon. Then for David Riolo. Pushes it inside for Paul McGregor. And McGregor is tackled on the fifth. 
Tremendous defence by Canberra. John Simon goes to the air now. Pincinelli contests the bounce, gets the pass away for Wishart, but the ball has gone forward and that's the turnover. Simon comes in to combine and make the tackle. They can't put him away, the chunky New Zealander. Walters goes over to the blind side. Bradley Clyde comes uh, back up the centre. Now they're 12 metres out from the Illawarra line. Stewart is with the ball. Wesley's the decoy. Kroger gets it on. Meninga's pass goes to ground. Did it come off the hand of Illawarra? Played by Meninga. Given by Croker, then by Stewart. Ferner is with it, and Ferner is rounded up by Craig Simon. The last tackle now for Canberra. Stewart keeps it low into the scoreboard corner. John Simon is with it for Illawarra, though, and the pressure comes off. Canberra coming down. They've had a bit of ball at this end of the field. Low match on the first tackle. Five metres out from the line. Walters away to Stewart and now Wesley. Wesley taken by Johnston in the number 10. He's reeled off some big hits tonight, Peter Johnston. They come back to the blind side. Stewart away to Meninga. Meninga runs at Nigel Roy. He's pulled down by that player. Nine metres out from the line. Mandruku to Stewart. A long pass away for Ferner. Ferner is just inside the 10 metre line and he's pulled down. McGregor waving for assistance on the far left of the ground. Croker, Croker looks for Clyde coming off his hip. Clyde responds but is tackled. Five gone for Canberra now. As they come back looking for Ricky Stewart. Here he is with the ball across looking for the flanker. Nandruku, he goes high. Meninga, Meninga puts it down. And that will be a try, I believe. Consultation with the in-goal judge. No try. Well, straight away, David Riolo appealing to the referee that the ball had been knocked on by Nandruku. Beautiful kick in. What about how high does Nandruku get off the ground? Straight across for the winger. Forced to stand still, the Illawarra winger. And, well, that, it looks like it's gone backwards there, but the in-goal touch judge was the man who made the crucial decision. I think you'll find the, the first contact of Mandruku's hand. The ball did get propelled forward. Grassing tackle by Farah. John Simon over the top. Now it's with Lomax. Lomax looking for a support player. None was evident. Ten metres out from the line. Walters looking for Stewart. There's Stewart with the ball now. Inside pass for Ferner. Likewise for Pongia. Pongia inside for Walters. Walters a butte try. Oh, that's a gem of a try by Canberra. Oh, an excellent try there. Beautiful skills from the forward pack there. Keeping the ball alive. And finally, Steve Wallace under the black dot. They've had some possession. And it all comes back from Peter Johnson forcing the football in his own territory. And Ninga was able to clean up. And within the set of six, they were able to score the try. Good slide of hand here by a number of players. Back inside there to David Ferner. He gets a great ball away to Lomax. Able to push through Piccinelli. Riolo came in to help. That left Walters unmarked. David Ferner from right in front, 11 metres out. He converts. Eight points to six then. Illawarra over Canberra. The fourth. Walters for Stewart. Wide for Croker. Wicky comes in. Wicky gets away. Wicky's over the 20. Pulled down on five. 15 out from the line. Stewart wants quick service. He's with it now. Ferner's outside him. Stewart is able to get the ball on. There's a try coming. There's a try coming. Nandruko. Nandruko scores. And Canberra lead by 10 to 8. Well, you could see there from the way the Illawarra players were forced to rush up in a staggered fashion in defence that they were in all sorts of trouble. A bad miss there from John Cross got them the momentum Ruben Wickey rounded up by McGregor and from this next play of the ball it is the last tackle there's one player going up very quickly Stewart beats him with ease gets a good pass away there's another player on the outside rushing up quickly was Jody Rudd in reach of the top three that will almost certainly come down to that game at Brookvale David Ferner is offline so 10 points to 8, 
We've had one hour of the match of the round and Canberra now in front by two points. Nigel Roy! Nigel Roy! Over the halfway and put down by Ricky Stewart. A tentative tackle by Mullins. John Simon, long pass for Andrew Farrah. Put down by Pincinelli. Picked up by Pincinelli. Walters was nearly looking at his second try. Stewart, he goes high to Wishart's corner. Wishart contests it. It comes off him and goes forward. And then he makes a knock on of it himself. On for Canberra. They win the scrum. They've gone back to the 20-metre line to go forward. Meninga for Mullins. Mullins, oh, the big step. Oh, Mullins. Mullins. He breaks the record of Mandruko. I didn't think he was going to tonight, given the injury he suffered early. Brett Mullins scores. He actually limps away to accept the congratulations of his teammates. Wasn't limping too much in this run, and really it was, I think you find Nigel Roy, who was the man that came up with a very innocuous attempt there. Good decoy runners from Canberra here. You'll see David Riolo, not quite sure who to go for there. A cutout pass, a lot of space back inside Nigel Roy. He did lose his footing, but I think Mullins would have been able to stand him up pretty well anyway. Furner's kick is wide. No goal, so 14 points to 8. 69 minutes gone, 14 8. Walters. Thanks for coming. Meninga now. Shaped a kick and turned it inside. Croker, Croker, he's in space. Riolo does well. Croker's pulled down, 20 metres out from the line. Five tackles gone. Steve Stone is the dummy half. They go wide and it's in the hands of Stewart. The drop goal, the drop goal is successful. The six-point margin becomes seven. 15 points to eight now. Hetherington put away 35 metres out from the Illawarra line. Interesting statistic for Illawarra at home. This is only their second loss of the season. They've played a couple of draws, but they've only actually been eclipsed on the one occasion. This year, this will make it two. A dummy by Croker! Croker! Put in a touch, good defence, and I think it was David Riolo. It was. It was indeed. It was the double dummy from Croker. Against Brisbane, the, the lights have been burning late into the night at Penrith Stadium during the week, so they've keyed themselves up for a big one. They'd love nothing more to put Brisbane... Here's yeah. trouble again for Illawarra. Clyde gets behind them. Meninga, the dummy. They won't stop him. Meninga gets the try. And Canberra lead by 19 to 8. Well, a great finish for Canberra. I actually think this was exactly the kind of game they needed. They've had so many relatively easy victories to be under so much pressure, 8-0 down at half-time, and to come out with such a, a strong second-half performance. Beautiful work. Clyde, the dummy throw from Meninga. Unstoppable there. It's like only academic, but it's also worth a fortune to a lot of people. Sounds like it might be a bit of yours, right? No, 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 no. Well, some of mine. That is beyond me, footy tap. Here he is from a metre in, and he's missed it. <laughs> if you've taken the Steelers, you're home on footy tab. But Canberra, well, what is left to say about them? They were down at half-time, six points to nil. Like to thank you all for your support again tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And it did look as though they were in for a, a very tough night. Was it eight nil? I think it was eight nil. And they've come back, and look at that. 19 points to nil they've scored in the second half.